Now let's create a swing application or we'll create an application to add two numbers. We'll make it simple and then we'll try to use the, uh, the concept of uh, localization and internationalization in that. So to create a swing application, just right click, uh, we'll create a new package. Right click and click on new package and we'll say this time it is as GUI. Oh, I'm using a wrong convention. It should be small g refactor rename. It should be small g. Okay, and then we'll create a new uh, J frame. So this is how you have to create a Java application, uh, the swing application. We'll click on, uh, we'll type add. And since we are working with J frame, you'll be getting option of drag and drop. So you can even go for drag and drop, or you can write this whole swing application by yourself. So we'll take. Uh, two text field here so that we can take two input from the user. So it's like two text field. We'll give a proper name. We'll say this is txt1 and we'll create a text. Uh -oh. okay. We'll create a text here. And then same goes for here. And we'll change its. We'll change. Its name will say it is txt2. Okay, now we I need a button here, and this button will say the text will this button will say add, and then uh, we'll say change variable. This should be btn add. Clear. Yeah. Now let's see what is add means in a different language. We'll say add in Hindi. It is uh, Jodna, and we will we'll use this thing. We'll use Hindi language. You can use any language, any damn language. No issue with that. Okay, and then uh, if I change my language, if I click on Hindi, so let's take a button here. Uh, here I will mention Hindi, which means if I click on this button, the the text of this ad should change. In fact, I'll take one more one more button to demonstrate. This time it should be close. So once I click on close, this system should go. Uh, system should get exited. Uh, so let me just write a code for close. Uh, so change variable name. It is btn close. Okay. So if I close, click on close here. It should close the application. So for closing the application, we have to write a code for system dot exit and we'll pass the status as zero, so that so we specify as a normal exit. We'll save it. And then uh, I can also code for add now. So let me just code for this addition code. Somewhere here. So we'll say uh, int i equal to we'll take into from txt. So it's integer dot pass int and we'll fetch data from txt1. So txt1 dot get text. Same goes for j, uh, j variable. So we'll say this is j and the input will be from txt2. And then we can use something called as k variable. Let's say it is i plus j. And even to show this output, I need uh, I need a label here. So we'll take a label. And this label will display result. And the name of this label will go for change variable name and we'll take as lbl1. So here we can simply specify lbl1 dot set text. We can pass k since set text will accept a string. We have to pass the string since a uh, k is integer. So when you say integer plus string, it will give you a string. And that's it. We, we've done with the addition. Let's uh, let's check this code. Uh, yeah, we're getting we're getting this code here. We'll type five and two. Add and answer is seven. If I close, click on close, it's closing. But what if I click? Uh, let me close the remaining the remaining files here. What if I go here and if I run this code and click on Hindi? Nothing happened, right? It's because I'm not written any code for this. Now, once you click on Hindi, so this text should change. This ad should change. That means I need to create a resource bundle for this also. Now to create that, NetBeans provides you some features. So click on the design and go to the navigation bar here, form add, once you got into design mode and check for this property window. In properties window, you can find something called as automatic internationalization. If you just 
if you just concentrate here in this GUI package, you just have only one file. Just have a focus there. If I click on this automatic internationalization, you can you will get one more file there called as bundle.properties. Right? And if you open that bundle of property, you have you can see we have all those text. That means the data you are able to see on this uh, GUI, they are coming from this bundle file. If I uh, change here, if I say add num, if I say save, uh, it's not changed. Let's read the file. Reload, save. Okay, you can see it is add num now. Clear? So that means the data is fetched from this. Uh, this is bundle file. Now, what if I if, if I click on this Hindi, the language I should be getting is uh, instead of add number, it should be if I say add number, it's Sankhya Jode. It's Sankhya Jode. So what we'll do is we'll create a new bundle file. Now, how to get a new bundle file? For that, also just click on this form, go to this design locale, and just expand this ellipse. If you click on this ellipse, you can just mention I'm going for a country, a language code as HI. So this is HI. And then you have to specify the country code, which is India. It's IN. You can see the code is HI underscore IN. And click on OK. Now you can see you will get a bundle file here. Now by default, it's blank, right? So what we can simply do is just click on this uh, bundle and we'll say bundle properties. Click on right click here, bundle properties and open. You will get a form and this you can just change the font here. You can say instead of uh, add num, the text should be, it is this desk. So copy and paste. Uh, the font is not supporting, no issue. Uh, Instead of this close, it should be so close, it should be band. So we'll say copy this and we'll paste it here. Simple. And that's it. I just want to change these two things. So if you go to this hi.in, you can see we have these two keys now. Now what way to do is we just have to make the changes. So click on this Hindi. So once I click on Hindi, we need to create uh, two classes, again two objects, we'll say locale L equal to new locale. You have to mention two things. First is the language name and the language you will be using here is Hindi. And then you have to mention the country name which is India, IN. Then we have to create object of resource bundle as we did in the first video. So we'll say resource bundle, we'll say R equal to resource bundle dot get bundle by accepting two parameters first is file name file name is again it is under gui underscore bundle and then you have to specify the locale which is l so no issue everything done now what we need to change is we need to change that text of uh, this add num this is uh, button button add and button close so what we'll do is we'll say button add dot set text the text should be coming from the source so it's a guest string now you have to mention the key name now what is the key name just go to this bundle file and fetch this key uh -oh. fetch this key which is add dot button add and we'll paste it here and for button close dot set text this time also it will fetch from get string and we need to specify the close key and for close key it is this so we copy this code and we'll paste it here and that's it now once you make these changes your uh, your, your code will work now so if I run this file so again, we can add two numbers, five and three, add numbers, or answer is eight. Now, if I click on Hindi, you can see the font has changed. So it is band, which means close, and Sankhya, uh, this is your add. Okay, if I click on band, now it will close. Right? So this is how you have to achieve internationalization and localization in Java. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and do subscribe for further videos.